the opposite of a social butterfly, uh, which would be a... A reclusive moth. I'm severely socially and my kind of undoubtedly is a hermit. I'm so comically shy. Every time I cross across absolutely any other human being, I'll instinctively run away and hide. Which is pathetic. <laughs> if you know a bit about me, you'd know I'm definitely afraid of everything. Even if I try my very best, I can't go outside without a bodyguard. I'm always behind someone as I interact with anyone because Gosh knows, if there was any interaction, I would spontaneously be alive. Luckily, most of my interests are avenues to socializing. That being mostly video games, thanks to the internet, instead of running away from everyone, I can stand still awkwardly as I let people walk by because I'm too afraid to say anything. <laughs> However, I'm on a mission to defeat the social anxiety that somehow infected my virtual life by socializing virtually. <laughs> you have to choose carefully which space to socialize in or you might end up in... So, I decided to play it safe, and I started my quest on the first place I ever socialized as a kid, Club Penguin. Club Penguin is a definition of a social MMO. You come to Club Penguin to hang out and waddle with other penguins. You can just come up to someone and say, Cool Buffalo, I have a blue one. What? I have a blue Buffalo too. Break <laughs> it a lot! <laughs> uh, so, with that in mind, I logged on to Club Penguin to make me first attempt at socializing. Tomorrow I have a colonoscopy and a fertility appointment. I got a colonoscopy too. Wanna be my friend? Call Pono Colono. Uh, That's cool. I know. Down there. Yeah, I know colonoscopies go down there. Let's check on the web what call means. Okay. Murto per cosa no ste sal tapeto con un almento un sidi curt. What? Uh, what's going on? Oh, sh! I hope they all turn to well. I want to die! I want to die! I want to die! What she doing? Um. I sure do. Love me some mining. <laughs> please, somebody, somebody, please be my friend. Are you real? I like to think so. A million beverages. I'll give you a million beverages if you become my friend. Please, I'm on my knees. Please, pineapple penguin. <laughs> One million beverages. I'm a friend. Let's go. <laughs> so, um, I I'm awkward. C could you tell? <laughs> Although, every once in a while, I would get a DM in Discord saying, Hey, you and I chatted on Club Penguin. Can I add you? And don't get me wrong, but I, I don't often have DMs that go further than, Hi, how are you? I'm fine. What are you up to? Nothing much. Any such cases. I like it when you're actually doing stuff between friends, like playing together. And conversations just come off naturally. Not just pal comes in suddenly and now you have to witness incarnation of secondhand embarrassment as a pathetic loser girl. Which leads me to my next attempt at socializing. On getting on a Minecraft SMP and become a victim of lucky circumstances. However, most interactions with my case go like this. Hi neighbor, would you happen to have some food you could give me? Oh sure, here's a stack of cookies on me. Wait, is that your real voice? Your voice? Is it real? Um, is it the voice I usually use? Huh. I don't know why my voice causes such a huge reaction from people. <laughs> oh my god, she sounds like she's 12. <laughs> I wish I had my bow, I would once have you. I don't like your voice. Yeah, I'm gonna call a wife here. Take that. I didn't even need to even make a friend. I went all the way to wife status. When I first started to play, I came across another player that helped me out and we had a lot of fun getting equipped in the early game. They had to go though and told me to keep our doggy safe, so I did. I built a fort to protect it and continued playing. The more the base got bigger, the more signs I would leave for my Minecraft buddy, expecting one day to return and see a bunch of messages left by me. But 
I waited, I waited. But they never came back. And that seems to be the case for most of my books. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it. If they ever come back, you'll find a giant statue built to commemorate them, like some sort of god that gave birth to the land. I have to say, seeing how other people socialize me, I realize I, I don't particularly like being social. Most of it is sensory overload and filled with tons of unexpected twists and turns. And it's okay, as not everyone will understand that you have special needs. What makes friendships so worthwhile is that you can trust in one another, which admittedly takes longer than just a few awkward club penguin chats. <laughs> I actually have made a lot of meaningful friendships here. Sure, there are a bunch of nasty people on the internet, but sometimes you'll meet someone who feels like you were destined to meet. Someone who becomes the most important person in your life and gives you hope and strength every day. Little by little, thanks to their bonds and understanding, I've been able to feel loved and so lucky. And it all started about five years ago when I met a pretty cool person on Twitter that shared my interest and while we were were both pretty awkward at first. Now I consider that my big sister that protects me no matter what. And my motivation to keep going is to one day be able to support each other to make life day ever more worthwhile, safe, and full. Even if it has its menacing challenges and obstacles. So, in conclusion, little internet interactions can lead to one day you spending Christmas together with that one oomph that was meant to be. I know I'm excited for Christmas. <laughs> Thanks for watching, sleepy hats. Stay cozy and never give up on finding friends. There will always be someone there for you. You are never alone. Good nighty!